so good morning to everybody today we are uh, going to discuss about uh, mpa 13 mpa 13 13 public systems management okay mpa 13 public systems management we are going to discuss today you know in the second year subjects are the mpa 15 mta 16 mpa 16 mpa 15 16 compulsory mpa 15 is public policy and analysis mpa 16 is decentralization and local governance these are all compulsory in second year and the other remaining optional subjects if you take 17 MPA 17, you have to take 18 also combined. Then the balance, you know, depend upon credit, your selection, uh, whatever you are interested in, you know, there is um, research methods and the say MPA 17 is electronic governance, MPA 18 is disaster management. So if you take 17, 18 also you have to take. That is that to be taken together. Then MSO 2 research method. then mps3 india democracy and development then mpap2 that is project tour if you are interested in project work eight credit they are giving many people are doing that also that is your choice you can uh, you know decide your own and uh, accordingly please uh, remember you were uh, second year also mp that is public policy and analysis this is public systems management this is a different topic okay so here in this mpa 13 there are 25 units okay so before starting this i just want to tell you i understand that there are certain civil service aspirants also in this batch so it will be very very useful if you have taken public administration as optional subject for civil service examination this will be very useful and uh, that come following topic also it is related to that only okay uh, but this our constitution everything you know that will be taken today or tomorrow tomorrow or if it after after this one or two topics i will be taking coming to constitution everything so many other things are that is uh, if anybody is you know appearing i heard that so many people are there civil service aspirants and think they already talk to me please uh, for them it will be easy they should know many things about uh, public it is not an easy subject you can very well understand the present circumstances prevalent in the country or the state or world how they are administering covid situation that is also public administration how oh, difficult difficult situation the whole entire world and their state and their country is facing this is also a public administration system okay so now uh, public unit 1 public systems management concept nature scope and the characteristics unit 1 mba 13 public systems management unit 1 concept nature scope and characteristics okay now <clears throat> many things we uh, already discuss on that day now as you are knowing very well that public administration as a discipline and practice is undergoing a change in view of the contemporary global developments in the socio economic arena previously uh, this much pro uh, attention was not given earlier you know when we were you know students or working at that time okay traditional way of administration was going on okay, earlier pretty uh, when we were working we started working in the office at that time traditional type of administration whatever boss is telling you to do there is no collective responsibility there is no worker participation environment uh, environmental aspects uh, working uh, uh, this thing that in uh, office ethics uh, 
and uh, uh, customer relations and the competitions and many other things you know uh, so many uh, you know uh, rigor, uh, rigid uh, or traditional rules were there because it was private company was owned by uh, you know some rich persons like uh, you know tata um, even brilla or copper uh, or so many other bajaj you know, like that like that like that so at that time industrialization was not that much this thing only limited to uh, certain owners okay but now because of globalization liberalization everything you know what is going what is going on in the world you see here even the covid vaccination or whatever is there you know it is coming from many things are coming in, in, uh, coming from various country and they are also rendering a lot of help foreign companies are also foreign countries are also helping our country our country is also helping a lot of you know everywhere the public administration plays okay the government decide it is an administration what to do what not to do today lockdown has declared this is public administration only to protect the life of the citizens okay so it is as a public they, they have formulated many rules issued by the for example in kerala chief secretary day before yesterday issued uh, one big circular what do and don't and yesterday night also modification of additional this thing also he issued another circular so we are supposed to issue, uh, ensure that these instructions are strictly complied with uh, failing with uh, police compliant and other things are there and uh, what i'm telling is our all administration here what today i have seen that uh, uh, kerala that uh, kochi police commissioner has issued that uh, you know you should, don't take it lightly that police commissioner was telling if fir is registered in in case of fa failure on your part this will affect applying passports any many other things actually police inquiry police verification also will be affected you know what is police verification you know what it is when you get a job in the government or army navy air force or psc through psc you were your appointment will be given based on the police report and that is called verification of antecedents by the local police any cases are pending if any if fir is registered these are other uh, things you know they will see the police verification so uh, any government job whether the state or central government police ver verification will take place they will come and check whether you are what is your uh, background uh, whether you participated in any any fir is uh, pending against you all these cases they have to report back because you know that uh, collector is the district magistrate suppose if you are uh, getting employment for example uh, in kochi the police verification request will go to uh, your psc will forward to district collector district collector will forward to sp of ernakulam district sp will forward to dsp dsp rural dsp or city or whatever urban dsp will forward to ca ca will forward to whatever sho sho will uh, earmark some constable to go to your house and verify and uh, about you and uh, you know the past history everything then same way uh, hierarchical way they it will they will report to the higher authority nothing is uh, you know no fire fir nothing is the case is very clear no problem at all like that it will go then the uh, sub inspector will forward, forward to ca ca will forward to the uh, uh, dsp dsp will forward to sp sp will forward to collector collector will forward to the respective psc or state government the agencies so nothing adverse they will write the stamp they will put nothing at the police station will write nothing adverse that rubber stamp is there after getting this report only you will get employment either in the state government or in the central government okay so he, today uh, our city commissioner or police commissioner or chief city uh, police commissioner was telling that in case of violation of the covid uh, whatever is there the, you know 
if proper reasons are not either proof is not produced simply you are traveling with vehicle or something like that fir will be registered which will be harmful for you in while applying for passport and the police verification etc that doesn't mean that you should not go for emergency purpose but documentary proof you should uh, keep it mind okay these are the things okay so public administration both as a discipline and practice is undergoing change in with the global competition and everything and um, of course we just discussed earlier also the current globalization trends have led to a rethinking about the role of the state and the government see what is going on outside suppose in america it is affecting other countries also what is happening in china japan it is affecting us also china covid started it affected the whole entire world okay so like the many things you know they inter uh, stay in the countries and other things you know the public administration will take place and the current globalization trends have led to a rethinking about the role of the state and government the respect to say government will decide about what to do what not to do so approaches to public administration are also embedded in wider conception of the state the relationship between state now important thing is in public administration it is not a traditional way now we have to see the market in civil society hey now today's uh, newspaper you see our yesterday's uh, chief minister is saying administration is one thing but uh, we are responsible to civil society now here you know uh, kit they are providing even in this month so that is here what happen market and the civil society also because market mean our customer is our public he is facing problem for you know getting wrong, uh, food items and whatever is there so government is rendering help so administration has to change see the uh, you know market also and the need of the people, society also people also and accordingly the administration is done now they are expected to be more sometimes what happen when you are doing in the public administration sometimes you have to take risk risk focused see if you want to reach a high at uh, this thing you know suppose if you want to uh, get employment also uh, you know taking some uh, you know civil service or whatever service you know same sometimes in your life you have to take risk you may succeed or you may not succeed unless you take risk you you are taking kerala lottery suppose a lottery do are you sure that you will get the lottery but then you will get it sometimes you will not get it but you should try you should unless you try then nothing will be there uh, no, no you cannot succeed so sometimes in your life you have to take risk also uh, there will be sometimes setback setback it is not a uh, you know failure you should not think that it is a failure failure always is a stepping stone of success failure suppose if you uh, fail first attempt in civil service psc first attempt second attempt third attempt so don't lose heart or something like that go on trying you know you will get it one day and nothing to worry about that because hundreds of in sometimes lakhs of people are appearing you know lessees are limited and uh, sometimes it happens you know it is uh, like this you are like uh, earlier all that was the, when i was working at that time also several even i was dealing with a 20000 application for post uh, each post under the 20000 application when i was uh, looking out for recruitment in the public sector and in central government public sector 20000 and uh, at that time there was no computer or something manually we had to screen manually we had to do each and everything manually written test we had to see every now it is computerized you know so uh, yeah, we, we we had to go on so we had to take a risk in our life sometime it is result uh, definitely it will be there if it is not today tomorrow okay uh, even abraham lincoln became uh, the president also after some lot of failure also uh, okay so many people are like this so nothing to worry about that okay failure all of a sudden you know you will call collab you will lose heart uh, if some failure small not that have patience and courage face the situation okay i, I told you, you know from my experience one post in the central government one post and without any godfather or something like that i got that post that is a prestigious institution 
the best in the country. That is Tata Memorial Hospital. Uh, sorry, Tata Institute of Fundamental Research in Bombay, the first center for father of uh, father, you know, the center of nuclear mathematics. That is the first scientific uh, uh, establishment set up by the government of India in India. Okay, in Bombay. Okay. So only I do, I was not having anybody to recommend or backdoor interview or funded or interview, nothing was there. So work hard. Unless you work hard, it will be difficult. One more thing I want to tell you, you are all young. See, you know here, um, this uh, foreign minister, uh, Sri Jaisangar, foreign minister Jaisangar. I am... See, his father was uh, director of you know, defense uh, uh, research center uh, previously, but Subramanian. Remember, decades ago, in 60s and 70s, every Saturday at 9 o'clock, he will give some lecture. So, what happened? I was at that time I was working as senior scenographer. I and his lecture, the speech was so beautiful, very, very easy to write properly, though it was having a lot of speed and other things, and beautiful language he will use. And many years I used to do the practice. But radio it will come. Other than there was no TV. Radio, his speech will be there on Saturday at nine o'clock. So by writing, writing, writing. So what happened before nine o'clock? I will keep my shortened book, uh, two, three pencils uh, uh, ready. And when you start immediately, I will start writing. So, uh, you know, the speed will go up uh, 100, 120, 130, 140 words per minute, like that, like that, like that. I increase uh, my speed in shorthand, English shorthand uh, at that time. So we have to work hard, we have to focus. Uh, you know where we do, you know till we attain or reach the destination, you have to go on working. And the success will be there, but hard work is very very essential. Okay, now, so uh, they are expected to be more risk oriented. I told you sometimes risk also. And uh, now in this unit, an attempt to made to explore the evolution, nature, scope, and characteristic of public system management is discussed. The, this chapter, okay. Now, important thing I will tell you: uh, combination, a system, combination of resources working together in to convert into outputs. Every organization, the every organization comprises systems with a certain goals to fulfill. Every organization has got certain, uh, you know, goals to achieve. So converting inputs into provision of goods and services, for example, it can be personal, finance, logistic, marketing system, everything, everything. So each organization is having certain goals to achieve. Every organization, anything you take, any exam, any any this thing, you know, then uh, the certain goals will be there. The public system management, broadly speaking, comprises several subsystems operating in the public arena. Each of the subsystems aims at achieving certain prescribed goals through uh, utilization of resources, human, financial, and uh, you know, and material. Public system management operates within a broad framework of rules, regulations, catering to the needs of the people. See, public administrative systems management operates with a broad framework of rules and regulations catering to the needs of the public and making use of public resources. For that, public resources also very, very essential. The public domain or system has certain distinct characteristics and functions to discharge and operate within the prescribed framework. No, public management reforms draw inspiration from business management where decision making autonomy is enjoyed by the managers of, of the company. See what happened? 
when an organization wherever it is suppose if in the government also say the delegation of powers are there to uh, you know the execute the functions smoothly if it is a corporate there are managers general managers area managers zonal managers everybody who have been assigned certain powers by the management so that they can the who are each and everything it is not necessary to approach the top level people to take and take up uh, approval they can take their own decision within the whatever powers are given to them financial or administrative powers whatever they you know we have to we can give so delegation of powers are essential for the public administ public system management okay never the nevertheless the difference between public administration and business administration derived from the different nature of private and public or the organization both in public as well as private organizations also this type of public system management is very very essential uh, first the business organization has definite owners business organization the private company they have got owners and uh, always their uh, their their target is to make a profit you know private company will not uh, you know function for making incurring loss always their endeavor will be to make a profit if it is 200 crores now it will be 400 crores next year it is 600 crores next year like that like that there it is commercial organization their target will be like that but uh, government department it is not a profit oriented it is service oriented to the citizen so the private company is governed by you know coordinated they will see the market you can see that you know depend upon the market immediately they will change you know shift their operation from one operation to another operation immediately they will change uh, wherever profit loss is there they will close that unit and where a profit is there and uh, they it is they will start uh, uh, that activity okay so democratic uh, okay now public system management it can be uh, concerned with the designing and operation of public services and functioning uh, functioning of executive government that is government this sort of reform now here public administration has always been interested with the major obligation in promoting public interest see whether it is state government whether it is cell, local cell government whether it is central government we are all functioning or to promote public interest that is the uh, constitutional uh, this thing you uh, know their obligation they have to do okay now nowadays you are knowing that court is also interfering if vaccination oxygen is not given contempt to court in delhi you know here also i court issued lot of uh, you know uh, direction to the state government so it is not uh, our public oriented actually so public administration has always been interested with the major obligation of promoting public interest even court judgment also public interest now you see the today's newspaper they cancelled so many appointment of teachers uh, in kerala you know why that is called administration public uh, what is that uh, systems management see we are lucky to have a beautiful demo, uh, uh, democracy that is if executive is not functioning judiciary will interfere executive they will not interfere and see what happen whether it is executive whether it is legislative whether it is something else you know uh, uh, judiciary whatever is that you no know, they they are not uh, you know uh, they are different 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 functions but if one is not functioning the final authority court will take a decision court will take a decision i will tell you two example recently no one example today that is they stopped the recruitment of so and so uh, so many teachers in kerala you know why what is the reason with uh, with uh, they combined advertisement combined you know with that without uh, adhering to the reservation point properly that is you know total number of appointment you know uh, accordingly the reservation was uh, calculated that is wrong because whenever one particular organization suppose psc is conducting or somebody else is conducting each organization that they to maintain roster this post is reserved for this this post is reserved for this and you know 
if you are entire you know cumulate you this thing total number accordingly you know if you are recruiting the people then eh, then what happened the reservation will go up more than 100% this is one thing so they are uh, sort of clarification from the state government see here three days back in maharashtra government supreme court uh, this is public system at the you know ma ma management you know supreme court has stopped reservation of marathas in maharashtra and they told reservation should not go beyond 50% because beyond 50% no community can no any whatever is there just to be approved by the president of india subject to various 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 so supreme court told that you have no power to give more than 50% reservation at present without that only president of india can take care of this thing or do that and we immediately they stopped the reservation given to maratha people by the maharashtra government for getting votes in the election whatever is there but uh, however they he, they told uh, one they gave a little relaxation based on that reservation if any students have got uh, admission in the college or whatever is there that will not be affected but in future such reservation should not be given this is called public systems management see we are lucky that if government is doing wrong thing judiciary will rectify we will correct you can see many 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 take the example in kerala kannur university i don't want to tell the name the assistant professor posh uh, kerala high court stop recruiting that assistant professor so they found that if anything goes in against the government rules so they will interfere and they will do this type of thing these are all connected with the public administration okay i am not telling this or that or this. Uh, nothing like, you should not take in the right uh, take uh, in the right spirit whatever i am telling how judiciary is participating when see what happen i will tell you how beautiful it is uh, what public uh, you, you should understand this book you read and understand this thing i am clarifying see what happened the first time in the history that uh, high court of uh, madras told that the election commission is responsible for spreading covid 19 situation in west bengal as well as tamil nadu or whatever is there without applying their mind and conducting the election indefinitely that is in west bengal you know eight uh, time eight uh, you know stages and uh, this has affected you know group uh, assembling people and you know, going politicians and so many other things uh, a lot of lot of things this has ultimately increased the number of covid cases and the election commission is remember it is the constitutional authority election commission even the court question the functioning of election commission also because they told why you know you know very well that west bengal eighth stage they conducted our assembly election what was the problem because you know um, always people will assemble and the covid uh, will spread like anything you know they are mingling with uh, each and everybody this type of thing so please remember our judiciary is playing a vital role to and uh, through their judgment also administration take place you know they, we should be extra careful while you know uh, well while doing recruitment also they are seeing the welfare of the people in general without violating the lay down norms that is the essential thing okay now here uh, what are the reform process in public administration public uh, systems uh, management what are the reformation uh, reform uh, uh, process there are form uh, for reform process four components of reform process in public systems management one privatization and deregulation we are privatizing 
many many companies because what happen here one thing you should remember every aspect you know government of kerala or government of the state or government of the different central government cannot take care of each and everything you know what happen sanitation you know something else you know sometimes this these are uh, you know this can be handled by the private parties you know so private decision very very essential you take the example of ksrp it's a big burden for kerala government big burden for kerala government heavy losses even two three days back under course they granted for paying one month salary pension different lot of liability heavy damages many other things you know uh, buses are not running and you know it is in the garage you know a lot of other problems are and government is taking all, all liability so many uh, things you know which government is not supposed to run so that type of no no here one thing you take the example of hospitals no covid do you see covid situation do you think that all government hospital there are private hospital do you think that uh, education you take the example education i am talking about public administration 70% of the education or more than 60% of the education is in the private sector colleges whether it is engineering college whether it is mba what is what our college it is it is in the private self financing or whatever is there so both the private and government sector they are playing their role effectively government cannot do each and everything okay now uh privatization deregulation there are many many rules uh, formulated by the government sometimes you know we have to relax certain rules and uh, you know it, it, we have to uh, you know not rigid way flexible way flexible not rigid way okay They're establishing market like mechanism see whenever some organization whether it is autonomous whether it is you know we have to see the market trend uh, and uh, sometimes you know, uh, you know when we are manufacturing certain things you know we have to sell the products in a, uh no in a, in a market we have to see that otherwise we will incur huge loss and uh, marketization also uh, decentralization is also essential market also we have to see properly now uh, decentralization one is uh, another is decentralization previously uh, in india as well as uh, uh you know even for corporate also there were uh, many many uh, powers were vested either with the chairman and the director or the owner of the company previously here government the state government also you know all powers were vested in with the, the collector or the secretary or whatever is there now decentralization has taken place even in the corporate previously it was chairman managing that now the powers are delegated to down below whether it is zonal manager whether it is departmental head whether it is regional manager whether it is manager whether it is assembly supervisor operator or whatever is there no powers are delegated so that uh, no need to approach for each and everything you know taking approval from the higher authority is not required if the powers are given to the down below then due bureaucratization iis or the autocratic style of functioning you know that should not be there so due bureaucratization so smooth functioning is also because you know strict very you know you, if you are very strict sometimes it will be very very difficult also sometimes you know some in a way it is you know by seeing the market trend everything bureaucracy will not do hey we have to relax so oh, take the example of uh, one thing investment in kerala foreign investment in kerala Be because of bureaucratic hurdle many people are afraid of investing money that is called bureaucracy because they have to run pillar to post for getting power connection for getting license and so many approvals from the various government departments everything this is called bureaucracy but state like telangana state like uh, you know andhra pradesh it's single window clearance you have to approach only single authority they will give all the approval so bureaucracy has come down here for getting electricity you have to go to electricity department water you have to go to water authority and you know explosives you will have to go to explosive department as well 
factory license you have to go to the labor department you have to go like that like that like that people really lose interest sometimes you know so heavy with the bureaucracy sometimes do you do bureaucratic approach is very very essential okay so now <clears throat> then only the progress can be made now another thing so that you know if uh, employment is coming then a lot of uh, you know factories are coming a lot of employment opportunity also will come so here another thing is the remedy of bureaucratic ailments have been offered by more scholars of management everybody told that the bureaucracy sometimes they are making hurdle even uh, previously one of our prime ministers also told even indira gandhi i uh, was told that because of this rigid rules uh, enforced by the bureaucracy i am unable to make any progress or development bring any developmental uh, this thing activity is actually here like the reverse so we have to keep in mind this you know uh, red tapism is the bureaucracy is playing their own role now we are not uh, you know against them but uh, in a modern uh, this thing due to globalization everything you know this type of thing sometimes you know make uh, difficult to function then conventional model or model of organization is theoretically rooted conventional mode nowadays uh, won't do now it is you know new structure organization structure is very very essential then same way uh, new right philosophy that is uh, deregulation privatization i already told you that is you know detection of infl inflation deregulation a lower taxation see if you want to if you want to make a people happy tax limit also to be uh, uh, should uh, bring down then increase in role of market provision public services institutional constitution then our constitution is the constitution sometimes you know, remember indian constitution is flexible but it is rigid also amending the indian indian constitution is rigid as well as flexible it is not easy to amend the indian constitution two third majority in the parliament is required and after all the president of india has to approve but reasonable thing for example creation of state something you know very good things are always there many times you know that of course the uh, next chapter it is coming at that time i will discuss more so constitutional changes uh, also sometimes it is required actually uh, because of reservation points and many other things okay now modern you know the recommendation of the public choice approach is minimize the role of the state so it is suggested that uh, state government should minimize their role in day to day activity but to limit the discretionary power of politician politicians are have disciplined discretionary power because it is really dirty uh, this thing because they can sanction uh, what is that uh, telephone connection gas connection everything all this unlimited the travel by air by mp and so many other and there uh, what they are doing we don't know they are not attending sometime parliament session also assembly session also lockout why the ordinary citizen should bear this type of expenditure also all the, they are getting salary from the tax base actually heavy expenditure there uh, water is free water they are getting here also suppose mp here also one house in delhi also another house okay they are having pa they are having driver car everything uh, unlimited telephone calls i already told you and so many things they are getting and even in the candidate parliament candidate even uh, you know suppose if we are paying suppose 100 rupees or 200 rupees they are giving only 10 rupees 15 rupees in the subsidized the parliament candidate why should we give this type of relaxation to our representative who are not effective in participating in either in the parliament session or in the because they are all getting the salary from the you know for tax payers uh, this thing so they have to play an effective role because they are selected by the people elected by uh, you know from the you know society they have to render service to the people okay so uh, limit the discretion they are having lot of discretionary powers also okay so uh, mla the attestation mla can do so many things he can do and that type of thing limitation also we have to do then reduce public monopolies to a minimum 
previously what is reduced public monopoly previously you see telephone it was the monopoly of uh, indian telephone industry bsnl everything monopoly now it has become that monopoly has gone now the private sector has come so here reducing public monopoly to a minimum okay another thing curb the functions of the government agency government in everywhere government everything you know uh, government 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 no even many things you know we have to do give to private also so both the private as well as government they have to jointly they have to work and so that citizens will be benefited okay so here this thing now organization management literature nothing is there it there are three four central tendencies have been identified by, uh, by some others okay uh, before that I, I just want to tell you that many countries foreign countries they made a lot of structural adjustment in their public systems to limit the role of the state many companies what have been uh, sorry in countries like uk usa they made a lot of structural changes and uh, many things you know they are uh, you know giving to the private sector suppose defense uh, you know uh, manufacturing play and many other things private companies also they made a structural adjustment and given the job and downsizing bureaucracy uh, that you know powers limitation and uh, authority authority in this thing you know devolution and uh, uh, giving many jobs to the contractors instead of doing government you know they have to give the work to the contractor uh, hiring because un unnecessary you know small small things you know government they should not waste time okay now three core central tendencies have been identified by some other organized restructuring is very very essential in government also in corporate also based on the based on the you know competition existing whatever is there based on the diversification of the product restructuring is essential in the government also unwanted departments are there unwanted bodies are there what is that restructuring here i don't want to tell don't get a politically or whatever is there we don't want this much department sometimes autonomous bodies the uh, department of youth the youth commission chairman then women commission chairman there is social service chairman there is a department already there is a minister already and uh, uh, sc st association chairman there is a department one minister is there already so what happened this they are utilizing to 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 to, to uh, provide chairmanship to their uh, their own party members and other thing but sal uh, salary everything we are giving you know you take the example of khadi village industries here huge loss they are incurring huge loss and that general man he managed that is between 2 lakh 50 thousand something salary number one number two recently i heard that they contributed uh, 50 lakhs to chief minister's relief fund see when you don't have money to pay the salary to the employees to the employees and which is they are really a sick unit eh? and this type of politics sometimes you know play by the unmanned so many departments we have created not only any all government it is like that many department and only to 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 fill the vacancy by way of keeping our own people and what service they are rendering this is a question i am leaving to you i already gave certain in the department of youth already is then again uh, you know this uh, uh, chairman youth commission and uh, so many commission we don't i don't want to tell you how many commission we have got and for that also each commission those who have not got the ministership they will put everybody in the this thing you know but salary is paid by the taxpayer please remember that so administration should be thin and strong these people are not at all responsible accountable for anything they will just to come and go they will get car and they will get a car and many of the uh, can i ask one question we have got a department of uh, forward community chairman or balakrishna pilla late balakrishna pilla 
we are not telling that is a very great person i am not telling like that what recommendations so far he has made that committee that commission but he was having in the cabinet rank many other but we are not blaming anybody okay I mean, I, my only intention is that to uh, unnecessary we should not create this thing whatever required it is it should be there but effectively we have to control and they should be accountable because they are getting salary from the tax payer that's all so organizational restructuring increasing use of market type mechanism no explanation is required in that increasing emphasis on performance performance is the criteria you know the primary criteria performance oriented if it is you see it can you just tell that any wastage or whatever is there you know performance is counted and incentive given increment our increment is given other way you'll be out performance okay and uh, government also uh, we are not counting that the uh, performance of the people and uh, the our performance appraisals are not uh, properly evaluated by the concerned department and uh, that is the reason why even in the education sector also performance is not evaluated performance is to be evaluated then accordingly increment or promotion should be given so that motivation will be there they will they can climb the ladder otherwise if they are not getting uh, promotion or something uh, you know it will be setback and uh, lack of contribution that okay now another thing public system management is often to serve efficiency measurement there is a greater flexibility in tailoring organization wherever it is required i will just you focus on result greater psm propagates managerial pursuits in governance steering role okay now another thing in public system management the unique aspect is public domain yes public system management that is it in the public domain whatever you are doing it is people are people they have got right to know what you are doing it is in the public domain that's why nowadays it is coming in the website or whatever is there and even in recruitment also it is coming every everything we are publishing in the website and if it is we are giving contract it is coming in the how many people uh, quoted everything it is coming and uh, we can you know transparent way we can evaluate each and everything so that is the th uh, thing now, so public domain i told you whatever uh, this thing now public system management scope be focusing on achieving result say public system management scope focusing on achieving result one number two introduce market principles three making public administration customer driven explanation is not required here actually it is very clear assigning the role steering activities of the government rather than rowing relying in third party okay and non profit organization and other levels of government in implementation of project deregulating the government activity that is the you know we are empowering others to do though instead of government uh, is doing this type of job we are asking others to do the job because if each and everything government does then it will be a problem empowering the employees to serve the customers as it promote the team work so every organization the team spirit should be there okay as a team we have to work we have to promote the customer relation customers should be treated properly in each and every organization so Uh, as a team this thing that spirit should be there i told you one day as an individual you are perfect but when you are working in a team there are conflicts that should not be there we have to see the circumstances and uh, uh, together we have to work so that can we can achieve anything then creating new entrepreneurial user oriented culture in public system okay that of okay. the productivity marketization told service orientation whatever you know this thing is this it is service we uh, no, we are rendering okay and decentralization told you policy each and organization has got a policy so written policies will be there so accordingly we have to uh, you know whenever a company set up their uh, you know main aim vision mission everything will be there policies are clear cut policies are the marketing policy production policy hr policy recruitment policy you know everything will be there accordingly you to go then 
another aspect is accountability for results accountability that is missing in the center in the state government center government see whenever we do accountability should be there that is you know because here one what happen sometime whatever we do there is no accountability so that should not be there and uh, government uh, should uh, uh, the corporate of course it is there accountability is there you will be out okay whatever job you are doing you know that should be you should be responsible for uh, you know doing executing the those uh, vital jobs actually and you are accountable also suppose revenue collection revenue collection, you are you are a tahsildar or village officer what are uh, this thing is a target is fixed for you you have to do that the same way other doctors or whatever is there you know whatever job is assigned you have to execute properly now another another thing is that the following characteristics that they tend to mend the traditional ways of organization and government it is concerned with the delivery of high quality services very essential nowadays you take the example of uh, uh, telecommunication sector previously it was very bad quality very bad quality service now because of that bad quality private company has come into the scene and now the quality of uh, you know telecommunication everything it is it has gone up your mobile or telephone or what other telephone everything it has gone up okay high quality everything people where they want high quality where the car or the scooter or whatever is that and the customer need a high quality item then it considers citizen as active consumers and serious attempts are made to find out their expected we should know what actually the people want remember customer our citizen they are having they have a lot of needs and we have to understand their needs and expectations due to de deliver it the government has to deliver it now it provide greater flexibility in working condition see one more thing nowadays you know working condition you know very well in it and other thing flexi time is the working condition sometimes you know it should it should be very 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 uh, we have to keep in mind eight hours means you know there are certain other rules also eight hours you have to give break also you have to give interval uh, tea interval lunch or another evening tea everything the interval also we have to give and out of working six days we have to give one day rest and one month at least you know, uh, per month you have to give one cash leave or whatever is the minimum minimum that type of relaxation leave rules concerning everything is there now create condition for more positive and protective managerial leadership leaders a leader should be a, you know should show the leadership quality he, he should lead from the front and with the co active cooperation of subordinate and uh, protective managerial leadership should be there by sitting on uh, in the you know uh, leader uh, uh, manager uh, suppose a bank manager he has to uh, get uh, execute uh, very, a lot of functions actually meet the target and many other things are so leadership uh, managerial leadership is also very very essential rigorous performance measurement see what are performance is there it is to be measured but in the government that type of activities are not there that is you know performance review should be there whether it is collector whether it is tahsildar whether it is joint collector whoever it is and uh, you know, whether it is any any performance is to be evaluated agreement should be given properly within the uh, limited period and uh, promotion also otherwise lack of motivation will be there which will directly affect the productivity okay same way education sector since 60 more than 60% of colleges are functioning under self finance scheme uh, lecturers even uh, faculty members performance is not evaluated why because they are simply writing satisfactory 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 they forget that there is very good there is good there is very good there is excellent also are they people are satisfactory only there are excellent faculty members in the college but what happened they are worried if they write excellent they will have to give promotion they will write only satisfactory if you write like that automatically the person the faculty member who is uh, really rendering very good service he or she will be demotivated so we have to recognize the performance properly
okay we have to motivate the employees properly the same way in the government sector also the periodic uh, performance review and increment everything so see here government one more arbitrary manner sometimes uh, some officer is doing i will see i will not give your grant, uh, grant your increment like that threatening also is there. government also you know if you are not doing that whatever i am telling i will not uh, sanction your increment also i will give bad remark about you that type of uh, autocratic uh, style of functioning is also existing that is not a good uh, team spirit you know there is no leadership quality then okay then it creates condition for more positive and productive managerial i told you rigorous performance appraisal then at, then adopt the collaborative networking approach advocate decentralization of authority power should be given then mechanism of bureaucracy that i already told you then high level of transparency and accountability i told you whatever you do it is transparent way you have to do that whatever uh, you know others when they question you should be give, you should be able to give the answer then whatever you do the accountability should be there then information technology has to be used uh, properly modern uh, this thing you know information technology you know that that you do, you have to utilize in an effective way then the a new role assigned to civil servant exercise in technical competence you know civil servant suppose you are simple suppose ias only then technically also you have to, you should have the ability sometimes you know, many people are having luckily but uh, many of our ias officers are engineers and the doctors and other thing they are having other qualification also. so other way they are technical competence is also very very essential because the technology is fast changing it is reflecting in the day to day administration as well data immediately you know you have to get the medical report. today you know whether it is corona data whatever is there whatever vaccination we gave everything online immediately we get because uh, 5 30 suppose chief minister wants to uh, make any press conference on before that all data is coming from all, from all over the district this is through our technological innovation then you know adapt you know we are adapting the technological you know what our progress we made you know that will that is helping the government to produce this type of results then conclusion this remarkable changes have taken place uh, in the 80s and 90s and you know that earlier what it was now it what it is you know very well previously you know that uh, it was you know um, there was no machine or computer or whatever 1980 or whatever is there at that time much computer this, this thing was not there now it is computerization is there 90s uh, 80s you know uh, that type of progress was not the what is going, uh, nowadays you are seeing a uh, government in the, now you can see even uh, medi- uh, telemedicine medicine also even for corona time you can contact doctors every everywhere uh, you can see lot of improvement uh, technological progress has made public system management today is thus being refashioned uh, to uh, under emphasize the traditional weberian rule boundary and the focus is now more on results and cost effectiveness see more on results and cost effectiveness now so public system management considers citizen as active consumers and adopts collaborative approach to work with the public private and civil society organization that is ngo so public organizations are the private organization or the civil society organizations are also the they are all playing a vital role you know yesterday also ngo what type of uh, good service they are rendering even covid uh, transport in the covid patients to the hospitals and you know uh, many things you know very good service they are rendering and they were providing food for the needy people and a lot of things you know they are rendering so ngos are also doing good job so they are also doing administration you know? they are also uh, uh, you know taking medicine to the you know whoever is sick or whatever is that they are doing very good service also so all everybody jointly they work together to give better service to the citizen so this is the thing deregulation i told due bureaucratization i told that is autocratic style of functioning will not do okay the this unit is over if any doubt is there you can ask and otherwise we will go to unit 2 that is distinctiveness of public system management now in the discipline unit 
distinctiveness of public systems management. Okay. Now here, in the discipline of public administration, in the discipline of public administration, the issue of governance has emerged as one of the key areas of discussion in recent time. Governance. Public administration, of course, it is there. But how effectively that is called governance. How we are controlling uh, you know, anticipating the problem. If a corona third version comes, you know, then before that we have to take precaution. And uh, we have to foresee each and every suppose climate. If meteorological department is predicting flood will be there, that will be the before that, we have to take adequate precaution. And you know, anything, eventuality, whatever is there, and uh, the good administrator has to see that. And we have to take adequate precaution to prevent to, 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 to face such a challenging uh, this thing, you know, circumstances. Okay. Now, this is because of increasing reliance on mark nowadays, unpredictable market is there. unpredictable. Today something is there, tomorrow something else will be there. So today, only in suppose kilo, suppose 20 rupees is there. The same onion, it was 100 and 150 years so, once upon a time. Okay. And in Karnataka, there was no market for tomato. And they were just uh, throwing the basket on the road because they were not even getting one rupee per kilo. And same tomato. And if you pay 50 or 100 rupees or something, we are not getting. So market is fluctuating uh, like anything. Anything, you know. Suddenly the rate will go up. Unpredictable market is demand is increasing. So, as per the World Development Report 1999 2000, has also advocated the ideology of pragmatism and the complementary roles of the government and the civil society. As a result, public services are being managed, public services are being managed rather than administered. See, there is a difference between management and administration. There is a difference between management and uh, uh, administration. What is that? I will tell you. Administration lays uh, emphasis more on internal structure dynamics and rules and regulations compliance. Administration lays emphasis more on internal structure dynamics and adherence or rules and regulations than rather than achieving the results. Okay, that is management. Achieving the result, the duty of the management. So here, administration is a routine administration, but rules are the, within the rule you have to function. Okay, lay down rules. That is the internal matter. And another thing, management means achieving the lay down objectives per year, whatever is there. That objective, to achieve that, that is the management responsibility. Take the example. Here, suppose production program, next year, suppose you know, if it is April, the next year budget, everything you have to make. Okay, so what the chief executive is doing, CEO doing, he's calling the meeting of all uh, departmental heads, seeking opinion, how to improve the situation, productive, how can how, uh, we can, whether it any equipment, new equipment we have to purchase, any extra manpower is required, infrastructure facilities required, building is required, whatever is there, they have to do. They are uh, just uh, thinking about that and afterwards they are taking a final decision. And in order to achieve the desired result for the next year, the management, board management consists of board, uh, the our, uh, chairman, managing director, head of the department, everybody, they take a decision and uh, that is management. But when they take a decision, that they are conveying to the down level and then down level people they are implementing that is called administration day to day. Okay, so objective achievement the duty of the uh, you know management. Okay, management is wider board of directors will be there under that president or CEO or managing director or whatever is there. Then under that uh, so many other structure I already told you organization structure I already told you. Okay. Now, in practice, the role of functions of management differ from administration. Please remember thing. 
administration and management is not the same thing okay new system of public service management is result focus management has to produce result not administration for uh, you know meeting those objectives administration supports administration providing help recruiting the people you know so uh, very nice way and so many providing necessary facilities and everything but management is result focus okay they want result the transition from the old to the new style of providing services has halted to the role of government emphasizing collaboration and enablement is okay now traditional public administration see now the theoretical principles of traditional public administrative model have been influenced by woodrow wilson i told you earlier american president okay max weber we discussed earlier taylor scientific uh, uh, management last uh, uh, mba 12 we discussed i don't want to elaborate anything else so according to mohit bhattacharya this model has the following basic principles now public administration model the following public administration model new new thing according to mohit bhattacharya 2001 so he has written the following the following thing the task of public institutions are to be to the hands of administrators okay very good administrator should be there okay to do the job you know very task oriented politics and administration are two different kinds of activity politics is different administration is different hello politics different politics mean uh, they uh, by plain politics no use at all but effective administration is very very essential now politics and administration are two different kinds of activities and uh, their functions are different administration gets initiated out of the initial push emanates from politics now the real executive is minister elected minister he is the boss and he is giving instruction to secretary and secretary whatever political decisions are the they are implemented now see chief minister is telling free kit they will give to kerala people from this month onwards even this month also so that is the political decision now the concerned secretary or department uh, or mini, uh, department actually who will supply the department they will ensure the compliance the political decision is taken by the political master okay now and the big administration administration is based on written documents politics are not a written document you know anything you can decide today you can give kit tomorrow you can withdraw but administration is not like that administration can function as per the rules only written rules will be there suppose if you want to terminate somebody if you want to suspend somebody you can suspend by quoting rule number so and so so and so court also give verdict as per the constitution or whatever is there or articles or whatever is there they are giving criminal this thing procedure whatever is there the written documents are there finna next the task are organized on a continuous rule governed see about uh, we are talking about um, you know woodrow wilson you know very well earlier i told you thomas woodrow wilson was uh, the 28th president of uh, uh, the united states of america from 1913 to 1921 okay he received a nobel prize peace prize he received a nobel peace prize woodrow wilson he was you know traditional management he, he was the you know in america he implemented the public administration system in a proper way okay and between 1913 to 10, 1921 and uh, this is woodrow wilson now the rules that regulate uh, work may be technical or legal sometimes you know what happened Uh, when you do the administration there are certain rule, uh, things are technical certain things are administration certain things are legal everything is there these are all part of administration okay now the tasks are divided into functionally distinct parts each furnished with the requisite authority and sanction each task sanctioning authority is different suppose for passing recruitment 
somebody as general administration but in the finance you know all uh, financial sanction somebody else so each powers are delegated and limit also fixed so for example for sign check up to 1 lakh somebody beyond 1 lakh to 3 lakh somebody and above 3 lakhs jointly by somebody so powers are delegated like this okay now another thing office functionaries cannot appropriate their office for private when you are working in a state government office or autonomous bodies or central government office you cannot do any other job other than the assigned job any other job mean private job if you do during this period it will be an offense under the service rule okay the office functionary cannot appropriate their office you are their office cannot be converted for private thing you know you should not uh, utilize the office premises for executing private jobs actually okay the another thing the resources of the organizations are quite distinct from those of members as a private individuals okay government offices resources are different and offices and tasks are arranged hierarchically and the rights of control and complain being specified in hierarchy level uh, office you know everything is arranged the accordingly powers are also given tasks are divided you know finance department account sorry marketing department each and everybody has got a task and it is bifurcated actually it is a continuous tasks are continuous rule governed task basis all tasks you know what happen when you do that there are certain rules production rules are the quality assurance rules are the quality control rules are the research and development rules are the policy is the recruitment policy is the according to written documents only you can function okay everything it is there then the guiding philosophy in the management of public sector is that of public interest the here one thing i want to elaborate the guiding principle of philosophy okay please understand this and uh, those who are appearing for civil service uh, you know aspirant please remember this line the guiding philosophy in the management of public sector is that of public interest no many of public sector undertaking go into i think they are going to disinvest uh, investment or whatever is there they are going to become private or whatever then objectives of that particular organization will change because government organization the objectives are different to serve the public serve the public if you are in a private company uh, you know if it is owned by a private company your priority will be different your priority will be different you will do your own way and from that by doing that you will make a profit also the government will not make a is not functioning for making profit and many of the public sector undertaking their fixed unit remember but they are not winding up reason being reason being the main purpose of setting up of public sector undertaking is not to make a profit to serve the society to make self reliant in various sectors like defense electronics heavy engineering lignite magnesium manganese or so on copper or coal or whatever is the what whatever from uh, everything is available materials are available that you know we are preserving the through public sector undertaking and they are producing uh, and the ultimate objective is not only to because we have to become self sufficient or feed okay many departments are there many ministry many ministries are there and uh, see if it is private also private organizations also functioning very nicely but uh, at that time objective will be different private means you know their intention will be to make a profit only so they will serve society also not that uh, to, they will serve society also but uh, uh, main target is to make profit only commercially viable viable then this model of emphasis structure work division power differentiation centralization public private distinction already everything we told earlier also the public policy perspective can concentrate on the policy process and rather than on formal institution this approach has the intention of emphasizing the political conduct in which public public administration operate 
for your kind information public administration sometimes affect really uh, affecting because of the bad politics also see uh, even civil uh, even uh, our civil servants are uh, unable to you know express their view sometimes to the uh, political head for example when dr jayalalitha late jayalalitha was there as the chief minister of uh, tamil nadu nobody was uh, having the courage to question her also to give the suggestions of whatever he she or he say then bureaucrats they are supposed to follow otherwise they will be out this type of things are also there. so the administration sometimes you know but on political they are the super uh, you know heads and the you have to do according to their uh, whims and fancies okay that is also the but there are certain good people the politicians also they are taking uh, uh, help from the uh, you know uh, this is civil servants also they are doing in kerala also many other uh, chief ministers were there in the past also they were giving lot of respect for the civil servant and we were having very good civil servants also in kerala in other areas also in india also okay but in some places it is very very situation is not that much good okay but whatever whenever the bureaucrats say that political heads are not agreeing to that but there should be a, a, a you know mutual understanding between this sir this is the repercussion this is the thing and like that okay it will that is the part of political contest in which public is operate the organization and personal network involved in the formulation and delivery of policy uh, always you know the formulation of policy is also very very essential then there will be success there will be failure okay so success failure desirability of actual policies linking implementation sometimes when you make a policy there will be success there will be failure also sometimes okay okay linking implementation uh, you know I, i will tell you with examples do you will understand many years ago there was uh, when sanjay gandhi or somebody at that time the family planning the policy government of india introduced there were certain failures afterward they found that you know this is very dangerous to implement this thing they afterward department of uh, ministry of family planning or department of family planning there was a department earlier then they changed that then they made it as a department of welfare and whatever is there you know social welfare whatever is that they change so when they realize that policies are unable to implement they are changing and they are making certain other you know uh, remedial step they are taking okay mistake will be there hello if you do job mistake will be there but yeah, if you find that it is a mistake then you should be able to rectify there lies your quality mistake will be there when but don't afraid of you know you know if i do the mistake will be there if you do then only mistake will be there from the mistake only you can learn if you are not committing mistake you cannot learn anything also from the mistake you can learn and uh, like that like that like that you see any any a progress we made you know lot of sacrifice lot of you know uh, this thing people have taken then we achieved this level please remember that whether it is space program whether it is atomic energy we, I, you know, i don't want to tell you anything but it is a small unit started you know that the nuclear power center is there i am telling you i have seen nuclear power corporation previously it was in a small shed opposite to that shed i was working in that small shed was power project engineering division that was the father that is you know shed it was operated from a small tin sheet small you know like food corporation go down like that you know it uh, started functioning we and from that now where it we reached that is how many nuclear power station we are having kakrapara tarapur 
இவங்களுடைய சிங்கல்பேட்டு வாட்டவர் இது தென் நரோரா சோமனிதிங் ஸ்ரீகங்கா நகர் தென் கூடங்குளம் சோமனிதிங் வைகா சோமனி 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 ஸோ ஃப்ரம் த ஸ்மால் பிகினிங் ஓன்லி வி கேன் கிளைம் த லேடர் வி கேன் அச்சீவ் ஸோ we cannot take sometimes we have to take risk also what will happen i don't think like we should not uh, be worry result will be there but it will take time sometimes you know the isro vikram sarabhai research center tumba it was they had not made a program within one day or two day or 10 years or 15 years okay lot of lot of efforts you know that you have seen abdul kalam's uh, book uh, that they were carrying the rocket in a cycle you know tumba uh, you know this big beach you know there was no vehicle to carry the uh, rocket the, uh, it is there already back side of this uh, you think the abdul kalam book is there in that you can see that uh, abdul kalam and arava mohan these two scientists they were taking the rocket in a bicycle from that level now where we reach we are thinking of going to moon you know the significant progress has been made okay these are all uh, after so many experiments and other thing and we are reaching so this public sector undertaking what i am telling played a vital role to to make india self sufficient in various field and please remember the uh, now people will not agree i don't know uh, i am afraid of telling also your people are different types you know see we should not forget the past past is past you look forward that is okay but the past also we have to keep in mind how this public sector undertaking played their role and made progress gave employment to crores of people several lakhs of people and uh, giving employment means you know how many family you know lot of things you know more than 320 or 10 320 public sector taking were there and uh, many many sectors like uh, uh, you know this uh, whether it is uh, electronic corporation of india naveli limited or bharat coal limited or magni um, adras fertilizer or whatever is the mangalore fertilizer or whatever is the kundrayam project so many things you know so each and every sector is uh, unit is established for fulfilling certain obligation and in that field we are succeeded and uh, even maruti walls maruti carvas also public sector undertaking now where maruti has reached you know very well maruti has reached the now one of the number one uh, car manufacturing company in india okay so like that now of course a private company has taken over maruti uh, suzuki like that is so we cannot ignore i want to tell you because you are younger generation we cannot ignore the contribution made by these public sector undertaking for the you know provide providing employment to make india self sufficient in various ways. you take the example of amul what was in the previously india i told you uh, earlier i don't know which class i told you for one once of, there was uh, no milk available in india when i was studying uh, primary school or whatever is there in the school they were giving milk and that was milk powder came from you know which came from america under pl 480 program you know what is pl 480 program in india lot of poverty was there no progress and that is no industry nothing was there after independent we were we people were struggling america was having usa was having lot of milk surplus milk they were dumping milk in atlantic ocean you got more than their you know uh, usage Uh, the production was there and they were dumping in andalan the ocean and our government told don't dump in our arabian sea uh, the, sorry atlantic ocean kindly transport those uh, powder powder not uh, that much inferior run right? don't think like that they were having surplus what they will do you know that in uh, japan 
after one or you they are having car after one or two years or three years they will just damage themselves the car they will not utilize the old car so many people are like that okay same way this milk powder was dumped in the sea and we requested humbly requested them to transport in a gunny bag you know to india for providing to our children and i also took when i was a student at that time india was not there now see the history now see the history i am asking you one question i was the man who was sitting in front of you during my younger days you know student days i was taking the milk powder from the school american america that powder you know very uh, the thing like that you know we have to do like this and uh, half glass or something we will get and uh, you know we used to get now from that stage not today india has become the largest milk producing country in the world we are having surplus milk whatever you are using now milma it is a by product of ma even technology everything is even now uh, as per the amul this thing how many product they are having how much employment they give uh, it is behind malayali varghese kurian and uh, he showed the women empowerment and uh, in a cooperative sector the he just uh, made this and uh, india is number one in the world in the milk production so like this many many i don't want to elaborate i can tell you many many example coal india which you are not knowing i am just telling you coal india what is public administration coal india they are having stock of coal for 100 years the whole world is afraid of india because the coal is used the air pollution the temperature will go up which will in turn melt the ice you know this thing arctic and arctic and like that you know and sea level will go up like that you know 100 years coal deposit is there in india more details i don't want to tell because okay that is enough okay now what happened my intention is to tell you that they have this you take a, in kerala kerala only fct which was one of the now it is city unit but that was the largest fertilizer company in asia making continuously profit for several years we should not forget about that hmt indian telephone industry they were all leaders once upon a time okay so so we cannot uh, ignore all these things you know sometimes you know. okay now the basic traditional norms of the public service value okay that is the important thing i will tell you the future changing nature of the public service okay uh, the few uh, changing nature of the public service the future is projected in terms of smaller role for government and a larger role for the market okay Ro uh, smaller role for the government and large role for the uh you know market okay and uh, the non government organization when more public private partnership is very very essential now you can see that government cannot run make many runways and airports in india hyderabad airports bangalore airport kochi airport kannur airport bombay new bombay all these things you know it is public private participation is there because government cannot invest that much money whether you are making express highways and many other thing only government cannot do, they are not having that much money so private participation is also very very essential now take the example there you know your politics should not be there now take the example of kochi airport previously kochi airport when karuna gan introduced lot of protests were there and i don't i don't i don't want to tell you uh, what are the events and other thing and uh, one person told that if you make an airport here the first flight you know it will run on my body like that the person who said that he will become the chairman of that public sector entity that the cial kochi international airport in later on now kochi airport has become the fourth biggest transport 
don't take it a COVID situation. Other way, fourth, biggest airport in India, as well as passengers, domestic and international, this thing is concerned, and Cochin Airport has become the role model throughout the country how public private participation take place. And it was a role model continuously since its inception. Cochin Airport has become the profit making airport and able leadership of Korean. Again, another uh, this thing, Korean. Another. Now, one more thing the speciality of Cochin Airport is running in solar energy, which is first in the world. Okay. Now, okay, that is there. Now, like uh, privatization, devaluation, okay. Now, six char uh, characteristics of today's workplace. Today's workplace, okay, six characteristics. Okay, one. Yes, flatter organization structure. Look, see what I mean, many organizations, what happened, no? One general manager will report to another general manager. Another general manager will to another general manager. It happened in engine, uh, CCIL previously and uh, electronic operation of India Limited. There were so many general managers. They don't know to whom they had to report. So top heavy should not be there. No. Take the example in Kerala. Only sanctioned DGP is only two. DGP law and order. DGP server. Even managing director, they are putting uh, as managing director of some many <laughs> Kerala government public sector taking also DGP. But only two points are there. So top two heavy, they have become, they are qualified. They are seniority way, they have reached. Uh, and you, you should not forget what uh, Jacob Thomas uh, Kannur, one, uh, sorry, uh, Sorno, that is an officer can handle that, the, they deployed a DGP. That is, senior most IAS officer to handle a small unit. It is near to my hometown, in front of that I used to go, and very small unit, and uh, Jacob Thomas was there. So what I am telling, here, that uh, thing which I am going to tell you is that, you know, over that structure, it should not become too top too heavy. Lean organization is useful for central state government also, other government also. So here, principal secretary, additional secretary, and so many other secretaries, and chief secretary level, so many people are, chief secretary level, so many other chief secretaries are there. But real chief secretary is only one. Because up to heavy, by maybe through seniority they are easy, but you should keep in mind this type of things actually. But as an organization, lean organization is essential, and the top two heavy organization is not at all desirable. Okay, now though it is there, now public service no longer uh, refers exclusively. Okay, okay, you know, wherever important thing is coming, they are already. elected officials set up. But, the elected official make a public policy. Hello, see whether it is cabinet minister, central government, the ministers are making policies. And of course, uh, secretaries are doing that, but uh, under the guidance of general, you know, um, policy of the Pacific Center, Modi, Modi Prime Minister, Modi, whatever he suggests accordingly, the rules are, budget is made. Not that in Nurul is making uh, budget. Without concurrence of Prime Minister, she cannot do that. So, the same way here, Chief Minister, without Chief Minister, this thing, you know, no policy can be formulated, actually. Yes, they have to show. Actually, concurrence is to be obtained uh, from them. Okay. And any financial thing, the government sanction is also very, very essential later on. Okay. Though, uh, Legislative Assembly is make, passing the budget, Governor has to approve. Parliament is approving the budget, the President of India has to approve. Then only you can implement it. Okay. So the managerial challenge in the light of these challenges are substantial, and the many of the dominant values from the earlier year. So earlier, this thing now it is very very diff uh, different. Actually, a lot of changes are taking place. New public systems have become quality conscious. People are asking, quality conscious. People are knowing that which product you want, whatever service you require from the government. And accordingly, they have conscious uh, quality consciousness. It has 
you know, people are having. Okay. So they lay increasing emphasis on result orientation through rigorous performance oriented orientation. Okay. Now, public system management in the day changed the context to be primary to distinguishing policy from execution. Distinguishing policy from execution, productivity. Okay. Though getting more services from lesser revenue, less revenue, more productivity. See here. No, but Chief Minister is, uh, you know, Corona, this thing, you know. Uh, he knows that uh, less revenue is there, but even though a lot of people are contributing for Chief Minister's relief, uh, this thing, you know, Corona, this thing, and uh, revenue is less, but expenditure is more because of purchasing oxygen, vaccination, and doctors, salary, everything, you know. So uh, many things, you know, new, new medical equipment, they have to purchase, and uh, they have to make ready for, uh, you know, uh, ventilator and many other things, you know. So oh, they are just within their limited revenue. They are all doing that, and we should appreciate that. Okay, now marketization. I told you service orientation. I told you decentralization. I told you accountability. I told you. Okay, then um, another thing: bureaucratic system uh, and a public system management. See, in the cases of the traditional public administration model, new public management, new public management, NPM, NPM, new public management approach. Citizen centric administration is essential. Please remember this thing. Citizen centric public administration is essential. Whenever you do administration, whether it is in the corporate or in the government, it should be citizen centric or in the private sector, it is people centric policy. Then only you can succeed. Whenever you know state government is making any policy it should be uh, pro citizen okay not anti citizen same way in the company also it is like that okay then in inadequacy of traditional public administration okay new model uh, new public uh, management approach as citizen centric administration okay i told you now as called a cultural shift the you have to cultural to change previously traditional culture will not do nowadays okay Culture and shift. That is old, uh, this thing, you know, our, um, uh, you know, when you are working in IT. I am so and so, I am so and so, I am like this, I am coming from uh, Tata, uh, Tata South, I am coming from Reliance South. No, no, no. I am coming from Orissa, I am coming from Tamil Nadu. No, no, no. All are one. And, and you have to adopt a common culture. You have to respect each and every culture, but you have to adopt a common culture that is working environment, a company's environment, philosophy, a company's vision. You should have work ethics, everything. It is common for each and everybody. Though you belong to various states, it is immaterial. As for the constitution of India, you can work anywhere, any place, settle down anywhere. No problem. And nobody can question that. But According to this um, present circumstances, you have to change your culture and, uh, you know, according to the company needs or organization needs. Hey, take the example of nurses. Who is nurses? Who is rendering very doctors also and many other people also. They are rendering marvelous jobs every day because of the pandemic situation. Suppose if you are telling, no, I cannot do this. I have got uh, my husband or somebody, kids or my oh, I, I cannot work. I, I will not come for second shift. What will happen? What will happen? See, this is the necessity. So you have to uh, change your cultures. The same way, organization is supreme than individual. Remember, individuals are required for organization. But organization is supreme than individual. So we have to change the culture according to the needs. Okay. Now, unlike traditional public administration model that has ended, okay, that is that okay. Now, this is genuineness in the modern public systems management. That is new public management. What is required? New public management, that is NPM. What is that? One decision, correct decision you have to take. Number two, 
dynamic mind set dynamic mind set not our traditional mind set previously you know what happened uh, i want my son i want to bring them to like an engineer or doctor or something now see here yeah. now the mind set has gone all jobs are equally uh, you know very 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 dynamic jobs are the uh, every field previously it was not that the so mind set has gone previously there were there were lot of uh, this thing for electronics and communication now it has become sometime mecha mechanical sometime automobile sometime so it is changing world is changing so according to the need to change okay now um, another aspect is that mindset then important thing whether you are in the corporate private or government bias is not tolerable impartial decision making ability should be there a administrator don't see this side don't see this side according to your conscience which is correct you have to do that okay when you do sometimes you know whatever you do which are is correct you have to do that and whatever others are telling if you do that you will be in danger sometimes you have got good brain to to apply that whether before you do you have to see if it is correct or not okay this is the requirement of the present day okay now uh, improve uh, production improve delivery say customers they are placing the order for immediate delivery and call it quality delivery quality products everything so improvement of human resources management you know very well I, i don't want to tell anything human resource management that is selecting the right person motivating them giving incentive direct incentive and indirect incentive and retaining them the trained they have to give proper training they have to give all benefits they uh, we have to utilize them effectively with the lesser people maximum output and surplus manpower should not be there okay so like that and a trained manpower should be retained otherwise if they go leave the organization then when you select somebody till that time gap will be there and you have to give training till that time gap will be there so attrition rate that is uh, that is you know leaving the organization should be reduced not that government of course retirement will be that is different but before retirement uh, somebody is going for an something something at that time we have to see and private company especially we have to see so a lot of number of people are going production will suffer okay because other people will take the people by giving a huge salary you have to keep in mind when they are doing like that you have to pay the salary more that is the thing okay now improve the management involve staff for more decision making relax administrative control administrative control should be relaxed sometimes flexibility should be there some suppose somebody is working up to 9 pm so if he is coming 5 minutes or 10 minutes late or something okay sometimes we have to close our eyes and not that you know they should be punctual sometimes some flexibility should be there sometimes you know not we should not be rigid we are all human being i can tell you many many example always you know i used to show little sympathy sometimes considering that but we should not violate the rule i am not telling like that but all are human being uh, people are uh, you know if i tell you from my story you will come to know all sensitive matters actually so uh, we have to keep in mind this thing when you are dealing with human resources keep in mind very in human nature you know very very nicely we have to handle that okay next administrative control information technology you have to use properly the improve and when you produce, uh, supply something to the client get the feedback from them whether whatever you have uh, supplied what are the you know feedback you know whether it is good or bad timely delivery quality everything customer relation everything uh, uh, the feedback we have to get feedback is very very essential for making any modification later on uh because the feedback from the client it is very very essential then supply and demand decision that also i told you now just wait 10 by 10 minutes for uh, one uh, just 5 6 minutes more then i will complete this unit and tomorrow is a very important uh, this thing 
becoming in the constitution. Let me come to you. The managerial orientation I told you. Now I'm going to tell the difference between bureaucratic system and public system management. Kindly understand, because other thing I don't want to tell, just read and understand. Tra bureaucratic system that is traditional. Public system management, new. Previously, what it was, now what it is. Okay, now, one. Bureaucratic system, previously. Public service is considered an exclusive task performed by the government. Previously, all bureaucrats. Now, public service is considered as a collaborative exercise involving government, NGO, private, everything. Everybody is doing public service. Bank is doing public service, you know, bank. It is a private federal bank, South Indian bank. It is private, you know, but they are rendering service to the public only, you know. NGOs are giving, uh, providing. So, previously it was government, now it is both private, uh, you know, the NGO, everybody, government also. Another thing, bureaucratic, previously, citizen avoiding any secrecy in government. Previously, lot of secrecy was there in the government. Nobody was divulging the information to the general public earlier. Nowadays, citizen friendly, transparency, accountability is there. Now, next. Previously, bureaucrat, public private distinction was the private were not allowed in the government sector. Previously. No. Government means government, private means private. Now, public-private partnership is there. Now, see, this is the public system management. Next, previously, bureaucratic, rigid, rule-bound, and hierarchical mode was there. Previously, you know, like that, like that, you know, it will go up, you know, under secretary, deputy secretary, like that, like that, like that, like that. It will go up. Now, okay. Flexible organizational design and practice model. Flexible. Next. Previously, process accountability. Process accountability. Smooth as per the rule. Now, results accountability. Result. Previously, anonymous bureaucracy. Now, accountable bureaucracy. Previously, what you are doing, nobody is, nobody is knowing. No, you cannot ask all those. Now, accountable bureaucracy next because right to information is there whatever you are doing even your property everything even if they give 10 rupees they will get the information all you government contract or whatever is the government will give by right to information act okay next anonymous bureaucracy told structure oriented previously it was structure oriented now it is people oriented previously Emphasis on rationality on decision making. Now, decision making process is rationality. Everybody is taking decision. Previously, bureaucrats were taking decision. Next, adoption of centralized strategy. Previously, power was not given to anybody. Previously, every power was vested. But now it is a decentralized strategy. Next, previously it was authoritative approach. Now, participatory approach okay previously it was politics administration now it is politic administration confluence combined uh, previously it was focus on structures and processes now it is focus on performance and results okay so this is the thing now traditional public administration which was based on Weberian bureaucracy, emphasizing on structure, okay, and work division, you know, which work division means what are the jobs you have to do. Centralization, power centralization of authority has become largely dysfunctional for dysfunctional for successful management of public affairs in the context of rapid social, economic, and technical changes. And of course, globalization trend. Because of the world, you know, the changes in you know, a globalization trend is changing. So, this type of new public system management is required. Then, as a result, new public management approach has emerged as an alternative to traditional public administration to uh, you know, ensure effective, efficient, and citizen customer friendly provision of public services. Nowadays, 
whatever survey they are rendering, it should be very private. Very private. See, private, you take the example like airport also. It is public only, public only people traveling, you know. So, where it is, bus is there. Bus, public, it is utilized for private only, no? Private, everybody is utilizing, no? So, uh, everywhere it is uh, people oriented, okay? Next, it is opera operationalized through the adoption or strengthening the public system management, okay? PSM, public system management, oriented towards self result orientation and quality consciousness for new union has inducted entrepreneurial and user oriented culture in the management of public system. At the same time, it needs cautioning that public system management has its own intrinsic logic and value. A lot of inside values are also there and hence need not be wholly sold out to private sector. See here, one thing is that everything you cannot uh, sell it to the uh, private companies also. Okay, everything you cannot sell it. Though many things you can sell, mind, army, navy, paramilitary forces, air, the, this thing, atomic energy, space, every tele, many things you know, military the operations and many other things you know, you and uh, strategic uh, this thing. Uh, uh, ammunition production, you know, uh, order in factories, this type of thing, government uh, will control, you know, mint, uh, uh, printing note, and uh, you know, stamp paper, everything, you know, it is controlled by the government only. So, the certain things uh, we cannot uh, give to private sector because at most uh, transfer this thing is secrecy has to be maintained. So, not only that, that private, you know, they will sometimes, you know, misutilize. So certain segments that has to be kept with the central government as well as the state government. Okay. So hence, uh, uh, at the same time, it needs cautioning that the public system ma management has its own intrinsic logic and values and hence need not be wholly uh, sold out to private sector principles and practices. Okay. So that unit is over. You know the disinvestment mean, you know, investment, uh, you know, uh, sometimes you know government is uh, giving certain portion you know 40 percent something to the private uh, sector and they are investing money pumping money for example bpcl and many other companies so it is for expansion program Go because government needs money and there so operation will be diversified and many other things so that is disinvestment because investing money and the maruti also did like that previously it was a central government organization uh, central public sector Previously, Suzuki 49% and 51% central government, central government. Then afterwards, you know, privately, completely, Suzuki is taken over. So, uh, like that. Then food security, you know that, uh, or a uh, lot of uh, food security previously, a lot of problems were there. Now we are having uh, food, uh, this thing, production, agriculture production very nicely. And uh, of course, we are getting wheat and everything from North India and the uh, state like uh, Punjab and Haryana, they are contributing from the maximum to the central pool. From central pool, food corporation is taking, collecting and supplying to the respective state. Okay. There's a, there is no food scarcity in India. It is a pool. From, they have reserved. Whenever the agricultural season comes, you know, they are procuring the wheat and the paddy, everything. And they are preserving uh, and the supplying group, uh, there is a corporation, Food Corporation of India, because we don't know when the need comes, natural calamity, war, disaster, many other things like Corona. At that time, we have to give free uh, this thing, everything to them. And we are somewhat in a better position as compared to earlier this thing, food production, everything, and uh, has gone up considerably. This is the second unit and it is over. Now, two chapter units I have taken. Sir, now kindly ask me any doubt. And uh, one more thing I am just uh, telling you that um, just wait eh? Those who are appearing for civil service examination, not only that for them, everybody. Tomorrow, which I am going to teach is about the constitution, 
constitutional bodies and uh, you know so many things are there and uh, like a parliamentary democracy fundamental right fundamental right the supreme court various types of courts independent judiciary judicial review many thing many thing many thing election commission many things you know like that because many questions are take, uh, coming from this and uh, unit number 3 like that you know it is coming very very important for those who are appearing not for other everybody it is required question will be asked definitely question will be there from this so many question will be there and tomorrow i will be taking this public system management uh, the constitutional context and uh, so many th important things are coming so kindly ensure your presence because is the covid situation people are sitting in in the house and uh, kindly utilize the time uh, properly so that uh, uh, you can write your uh, assignment properly you can appear the examination properly though the examination extended within the short notice they will publish afterwards but because in the month of june or whatever is the but 21 days uh, notice they will give but even though you have to equip with the knowledge not only for passing examination it is employment oriented and future uh, this thing also it will help that is called a master of personal administration very well wherever you go this type of thing will help you because we are teaching about constitution everything as a being a good citizen of india we should know what are our rights what are our duties so kindly tell me any doubt you are having so you will it covered i'll be happy to answer if any questions are there yes any any question please hello sir eh any question hello sir ha ah. yes hello ാണ്സറി <laughs> 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 ാണ് ഞാൻ പറയുന്നത് കേൾക്കുന്നുണ്ടോ അവിടെ എല്ലാവരും കേൾക്കുന്നുണ്ടോ ഒന്നും പറയുന്നില്ല കേൾക്കുന്നുണ്ടോ ചിലപ്പോ ചില സമയത്ത് ഓഡിബിൾ ആവില്ല അതുകൊണ്ട് ഞാൻ ചോദിച്ചു കേട്ടോ പിന്നെ എം പി എ ഫൈവ് പതിനഞ്ചും പതിനാറും കമ്പൽസറി ആണ് പതിനേഴ് പതിനെട്ട് ഇലക്ട്രോണിക് നിങ്ങൾ പതിനേഴ് എടുത്താൽ പതിനെട്ട് കൊടുക്കണം കാരണം അത് ടു ബി ടേക്കൺ ടുഗദർ ആണ് അഥവാ എടുക്കുന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ പതിനേഴ് പതിനെട്ട് പിന്നെ അത് രണ്ടും കൂടി എടുക്കണം പിന്നെ അത് കഴിഞ്ഞിട്ട് എം എസ് ഒ ടു ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് റിസർച്ച് സോറി ആദ്യം എം പി എ പതിനേഴ് ഇലക്ട്രോണിക് ഇലക്ട്രോണിക് ഗവേണൻസ് എം പി എ പതിനെട്ട് ഡിസാസ്റ്റർ മാനേജ്മെന്റ് ഇത് രണ്ടും ആണ് നമ്മൾ കമ്പൈൻഡ് ആയിട്ട് എടുക്കേണ്ടത് എടുക്കുകയാണെങ്കിൽ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഓപ്ഷൻ സബ്ജക്റ്റിൽ വരുന്നത് എം എസ് ഒ ടു റിസർച്ച് മെത്തേഡ്സ് ആൻഡ് മെത്തഡോളജീസ് അത് കുറച്ച് തിയറിറ്റിക്കലാണ് കുറച്ച് കടുപ്പമുള്ളതാണ് കേട്ടോ റിസർച്ച് മെത്തഡോളജി അത് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റ് ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ എടുക്കാം കുഴപ്പമില്ല പക്ഷെ അത് കുറച്ച് ഡീപ് തിയറി ആണ് കേട്ടോ പിന്നെ ഇന്ത്യ ഡെമോക്രസി ആൻഡ് ഡെവലപ്മെന്റ് എടുക്കാലോ അത് എടുക്കാം അതല്ലെങ്കിൽ പ്രൊജക്ട് വർക്ക് എടുക്കട്ടെ ഓട്ടർ എത്രയാ മുപ്പത്തിരണ്ടാ തേർട്ടി ടു ക്രെഡിറ്റ് അല്ലേ മുപ്പത്തിരണ്ട് എത്ര മുപ്പത്തിരണ്ട് അല്ലേ ക്രെഡിറ്റ് തേർട്ടി ടു പ്രൊജക്ട് വർക്ക് എടുക്കുന്നവർക്ക് അത് എടുക്കാം അതല്ല മറ്റുള്ള നിങ്ങൾക്ക് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഏതാ എന്താ അറിയേണ്ടത് അതായത് ഏതാ ഈസി സബ്ജക്ട് ആണോ ഏതാണ് നല്ലതെന്ന് അറിയാനായിട്ടുള്ളത് ചോദിക്കാൻ